everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that your day is off to a great start so far. So today I'm going to be decluttering my blush collection. In case you guys missed it, I've been decluttering my makeup collection every single Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to subscribe or come back to my channel every week if you want to see the rest of my declutter videos. And I will link the other ones in the description box below. I feel like my blush collection hasn't grown that much since I last did a declutter, but there are still blushes in there that I really don't use and they could just be passed along to somebody else who might like them a little bit more than me. So it is time to go through my collection and declutter those blushes, so let's jump into it. So this is my blush, bronzer, and highlighter drawer. In today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my blushes, so I will stick with these three containers, and then next week I will do my bronzers and highlighters, which is this side. I don't think my blush collection has really grown that much since I last did a declutter video, which is good. I've kind of become more aware of which blushes I really like for me, but there are still blushes in here that I don't use, so my goal is to declutter 15. I know 15 doesn't sound like a crazy amount when I just decluttered like a hundred lipsticks but I think 15 is a good start and I will definitely go through and see if I can hit that goal. So I will start with this section right here. I got these containers from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. You can find them in the kitchen section. They're really great because they're perfect for blushes and bronzers. As you guys can see, they literally fit in here so perfectly. And I love them because they do have the rubber on the bottom. So that way you can angle your blushes or bronzers so you can be able to see them. Or when you open the drawer, they don't really slide around, which is also great. So this one is from City Color Cosmetics. This is one of their B-Matte blushes in the shade Blood Orange. I'm definitely more of a neutral highlight shimmer just like really natural looking blush person but I do want to hang on to maybe one or two really bright colors for spring and summer to see if I'm going to try to switch it up. So I am going to hang on to this one. This one is in the shade Fresh Melon, and I really like the formula of these. They are super soft and pigmented, and they are incredibly affordable. They're drugstore prices. You can find them online, but I definitely recommend checking these out. So I am going to hang on to the two of these. This one is also from City Color Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Papaya, and this is definitely more of a natural looking blush. So I am going to hang on to this one as well. I have this Milani blush in the shade Romantic Rose. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's just a beautiful, natural, everyday looking shade. I, I don't know if these were limited edition or if they still have them in stores. I haven't been to the drugstore in a really long time, but I love these blushes. They're great quality. Then I have this one from It Cosmetics. This one is in the shade Je ne sais quoi. It is a CC Plus Radiance Ombre blush, which I actually haven't worn this one very much. I think that I might put it in my everyday makeup drawer for next month and if I don't wear it, I'll have to declutter it. But it is a really gorgeous blush, and it is a natural looking color, but it's a little bit deeper. So I think I will hang on to this one too. The next one is this blush. This one's from Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Paradise Pink. This color is really gorgeous. I really like Ofra Cosmetics products, but I don't really wear this one. It's a little bit too dark for me, so I think I'm going to pass this one along to somebody else. I don't even know if I've worn it. I've probably only really swatched it. Next I have this Jane Cosmetics blush. This one is in the shade Pink Bouquet. I haven't even opened this one, and I've had it in my collection for a while, so I think it is time to pass this one along to someone else just because I have enough blushes so if I haven't even used it, I think I will give that to somebody else to see if they can get use out of it. Next, I have a Model Co. blush in the shade Amaretto Sunset. I love Model Co. products. I think they are just such good quality, but this shade is a little bit too dark for me. It's a really beautiful color, especially for fall and winter, but I just don't think it works well with my skin tone, so I'm going to give this to somebody else as well. Then I have a bunch of my Tarte Cosmetics Amazonian Clay blushes. I love these. These were like the first high-end blushes I ever tried because I have such a problem with blush staying on my cheeks since I have oily skin. But these stay in place. They're so beautiful. So this one is in the shade Flush. Last time I showed this, I didn't realize it was limited edition. It's such a gorgeous shade. I think they have something similar. It's a little bit dark for me, but it's so beautiful. So I'm definitely going to hang on to it and see if I can get some use out of it. This one is in the shade Exposed. It's like the perfect everyday color. I will definitely not be getting rid of that one. This one is in the shade, oh, Tipsy. I completely forgot I have this one. I bought this one because I really wanted a gorgeous coral blush. I cannot wait to wear this during the spring and the summertime. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. This one is in the shade Doll Face. This was like one of my first high-end products ever. So it's definitely on the older side. I would say it's probably almost like five years old. So it is time to actually declutter this one. Last time I swatched it, I noticed it was super dry, which for a powder to be like dried out, it's definitely expired. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. And then lastly, I have the shade Empowered. This is a really beautiful color. It kind of looks like it has a lot of shimmer in it. I wonder 
if on the face it looks like that. Oh, it's so pretty. Like I get so mad at myself because I have so many beautiful blushes, but I tend to wear the same one. So I'm definitely going to hang on to this one. I have too many blushes right here. I actually think I was supposed to declutter this one last time, but I changed my mind. This one's in the shade Fantastic, which is a really beautiful pink. It's so gorgeous, but honestly, I don't wear it. It's just a little bit too bright for me. So I am definitely going to declutter it this time for sure. This one is in the shade Magic. I get a lot of use out of this one because it's kind of like just a pink coral shade. I actually do have the Milani blush in Luminoso. So many people tell me to try this and honestly I completely forgot that I had it. So I definitely need to break it out and wear it a little bit more. And the last blush is a Model Co blush as well. This one is in the shade Cosmopolitan and it's just a beautiful kind of everyday natural pink but I have other shades like this and I don't really wear this one so I'm going to give this to somebody else. So I'll start in the front this time. I have a sleek blush in the shade Santorini. This is like probably the most beautiful blush I've ever seen in my life. It's so stunning but unfortunately I don't wear it. It's just way too bright for me and it's made it through quite a few decluttering so I'm definitely going to pass this one along to somebody else. I hate to see it go because it is so gorgeous but I just don't get use out of it and I feel like somebody else would love it a lot since it is so beautiful. I have Hot Mama from the balm. I definitely get use out of this one. It's a really beautiful color, especially for spring and summer. So I think I will hang on to that. I have two of the In Stain blushes by the balm. I love this one. This one's in the shade Swiss Dot and it's just the perfect kind of coral pink. These are amazing. They stay on the cheeks so well. This one is in the shade Houndstooth. I think I've only worn it once. It's not typically a color I would go for. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I should declutter this one. I think I'm going to declutter it even though I only wore it once or twice because it's almost, you know, springtime and if I didn't wear this during the fall and the winter when I normally would, I probably won't wear it during the spring and the summer. So I hate to get rid of it, but I think somebody else will like it. This is Cindy Luminizer from The Balm. This is so beautiful. It's one of my favorite products. It's like a blush and highlighter all in one, but I wear this all the time, so I'm definitely going to hang on to that one. Then I have three of these blushes from The Balm. This one's in Cabana Boy. I've actually been wearing this one a lot lately, which look at the color. Like it's so dark for me, but I've been loving it. It's just, it's a really gorgeous color. So I will definitely hang on to this one. Then I have this one, which is Frat Boy. This is perfect for spring and summer because it's like a pink, but it has a little bit of shimmer. It almost has like a sheen to it. It's just a beautiful color. And then I have this one in Down Boy. This is like the perfect everyday natural pink shade. I don't really foresee myself getting rid of any of my box powder blushes from Benefit. These are just some of my favorite blushes. This one is Bella Bomba. It's just a perfect shimmery pink. This one is Dallas. If you're a fan of like a really natural looking blush or bronzer, this is a great option because it is cool toned. So it looks so beautiful on the skin as like a contour color. This one is Hervana. I was actually supposed to declutter this one last time too, but I decided to keep it because it's a super, super light pink shade. And every once in a while, I just want like a natural matte color. But I really like the shimmering colors. This one is Sugar Bomb. It's so gorgeous for spring and summer. It's kind of like a bronzy blush. And then we have Coralista. This is like my favorite blush of all time. I definitely need to get a new one because this one is kind of like on the older side. But until I do that, I'm going to hang on to this one. I actually am going to declutter this one. This is from the brand Me Me Me. It is their Blush Me in Coral. It's absolutely stunning. Like I love this shade so much, but it's really similar to Bella Bamba, and Bella Bamba is like my favorite blush of all time. So I'm definitely going to pass this one along to someone else. I have two of these e.l.f. These are their pressed mineral blushes. I love these so much. This one's in the shade Sweet Retreat. And then this one is in the shade Baked Peach. These are just a great option from e.l.f. They're super pigmented and soft and I love them. I have a few of these NYX powder blushes left. I've definitely decluttered them over the years and they're getting a little bit old. As you guys can tell, this one was well loved and well worn, but it's definitely time to declutter these just because I've had these for the longest time and honestly, I don't really wear them that much. I have a little Lorac blush. This one is in the shade Rose and I actually did wear this one so much. I definitely got a lot of use out of it. It's just a really pretty natural shade. But again, this one's on the older side. I've almost hit pan on it, so I definitely think it's time to declutter this one just because I know that I've had it for a really long time. I have two of these ColourPop blushes. This one's in the shade Never Been Kissed, and this one is in the shade Cruel Intentions. If you guys have any brush recommendations for ColourPop blushes, let me know in the comments below, or even any ColourPop blush recommendations. This is a Motives blush in the shade Naughty. I love this. It kind of reminds me of Benefits Coralista, 
but it's a little bit lighter, a little bit more shimmery, so I love this for spring and summer. This is an e.l.f. blush in the shade Twinkle Pink. This one is just a little bit too shimmery for me. I'm definitely a shimmery blush fan, but this one almost has glitter in it, and I don't really wear it, so it's time to declutter this one. I have two of these e.l.f. blushes. These are actually from their Beautifully Bare line. This one is Peach Perfection, and the pink one is Rose Royalty. I am definitely not really a cream blush fan, but I really love the formula of these because they're not super creamy, like overly creamy. They go on the skin nicely, and I like to wear them if I'm wearing like a CC cream during the summer and I just want something really lightweight on my skin. These are definitely two that I love. They're probably like the only cream blush products that I really like, so I'm definitely going to keep these. I have two of the Becca, what are these called? Becca Cosmetics Mineral Blushes. This one's in the shade Damsel Fly, and then I also have one in the shade Wild Honey. These are really kind of similar. This one's definitely a little bit more of a bronzy shade, and this one's a little bit more pink, but I love these blushes. These are like one of my favorite blushes of all time. The formula is just amazing, and I definitely want to try more of them, so I will be keeping these for sure. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. It is the Maybelline Matte Master Highlight by Face Studio in the shade, I can never find the shade, Pink Rose. I am obsessed with this. It's possibly like my favorite drugstore blush in the entire world, so I'll definitely keep this one. And then I've been using this one lately. This is the Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush, so I'll hang on to this. So back here, I definitely have a ton of cream products that I really don't wear just because I'm more of a powder fan, so it's time to declutter these for sure. This is the Tarte Cheek Stain in the shade Blushing Bride. It's a gorgeous color. But since I'm not really a cream product fan, I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. This isn't actually a cream product. This is the Cargo Blush in the shade Bali. It is a water resistant blush, which I think basically just means it's really good for oily skin. It is a pretty color, but I have a lot of similar shades, so I'm going to declutter this one. This is just like a mini blush. This is by the brand Jouer. It is one of their tints in the shade Petal. I just, I don't really wear it since it's a cream product, so I will declutter that. I wanted to like the Benetton so much because it's so beautiful, but unfortunately, it didn't look good on my lips. It kind of like settled into lines and it looked so weird. And I'm not really like a cheek stain person. I can't really figure out how to blend it well. So I'm going to pass this one along to somebody else too. I have another one of these Tarte Cheek Stains. This one's in the shade Energy. This one's actually supposed to adjust based on each individual person. But again, since I don't really wear these, I will pass this one along to someone else. This is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It is a cheek and lip stain in the shade Coral. I just don't really find myself wearing this one because I'm not, again, really a big cream person, so I'm going to pass this one along. This is actually a highlighting product, so I'm going to hang on to that for my next declutter. And then this is an e.l.f. HD blush in the shade Headliner. I just got this not that long ago, and it is a cream product, but it was so pigmented. It surprised me, so I definitely want to use this one. I was kind of hanging on to it for the spring and summertime when I tend to reach for cream products products more often, so I'll hang on to this for a little while longer. So these are all of the blushes that I am decluttering from my collection. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I mean, I didn't get rid of like half my collection or anything crazy like that, but I do feel like I've been pretty good at only buying blushes that really work well for me, and a lot of these are just blushes that I've had for a long time. I think the only one that I actually purchased that didn't work for me was this one from The Balm. So I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Make sure you stay tuned because I'm going to be doing my highlighters and bronzers in my next video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite blush is because I would love to hear from you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!